What's up you guys? It's your girl Leslie aka Paint Me Pretty and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do another side-by-side head-to-head comparison between the Touch of Soul No More Pore Blum, Poor Blum, God I can't even say that, primer, <laughs> cute name though, and my Holy Grail Elf Poreless and Putty Primer. We're going to put these to the test and see which one is worth your coin. So if you guys want to be a part of that, if you want to see what happens, then please just keep on watching. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Leslie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Want you in the painted and pretty family. Please make it rain with those thumbs ups on this video. And don't forget to turn on your notifications or you won't know when I upload and that would suck. All right, you guys, let's get into the battle. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. All right. So, I think I'm going to do the No Porbulum Primer on my right side since this is where I have the most porbulums. Yeah, yeah, I did that. And on this side, I'm going to use my Holy Grail Elf Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm going to wear them both with my Bobbi Brown foundation. So let's go ahead. Oh, I got this in my boxy charm, by the way. I should start doing boxy charm unboxings. But, like, I see that was a lot. Ah! Wah, it got on me. I see that was a lot on YouTube, though. So, I don't know. You guys let me know. Are there already too many videos like that? Do you guys even give a fuck about BoxyCharm? I do have to give a shout out to my girl Alicia. She got me into the BoxyCharm trend. Like I wasn't going to because I used to get Ipsy and I thought it was like the same thing, like mini sizes, but then I figured out it was full sizes and I was like, yes, bitch, $21, I'm in. All right, so first off the bat, this feels very smooth. It feels a bit silicone-y, but that's normal for something that claims to be pore filling. I do really like the way it feels, though. Hmm. Alright, let's put my Holy Grail on the other side. <laughs> my nails are getting too long, as you can tell. But Monday... Is my nail appointment. Hey, Pip Ray. All right, let me smooth this. I already know what this feels like, obviously, because I use this every day that I wear makeup. It's definitely not as silicone of a feeling as the Touch of Soul one on the other side of my face. You can still tell that it has that silicone in it but nowhere near the other one. And with the e.l.f. one, you have to wait like 30 seconds before you apply anything. And you don't have to do that with the Touch of Soul one. So let me put these away and we'll let this simmer for a moment. A few moments later. Okay, let me feel these. Okay, this side is definitely not tacky at all. It's still smooth. The e.l.f. one. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little bit of tackiness to it, which, I mean, I don't care either way. If it's got more tackiness to it, it tends to hold the foundation better. Oh, let's check it out. For this side. I always put more right here on my jawline because that is where I touch my face the most. Which I never really realized until recently. Because I'd always wonder, like, where the fuck does my foundation go right when I put it there? I'm going to apply my foundation like I usually do. With two layers with this particular foundation. Because it is not full coverage, but it's buildable. going on nice and easy on this side. I don't notice any difference in application of my foundation. 
just do the other side. Don't forget to get your ears and bring it down your neck, you guys. That's important. Having your neck not match. <laughs> Having your neck not match your face is a dead ass giveaway. That either A, you don't pick you don't know how to pick the right color, or B, you don't blend well. So spend some time focusing on the seamlessness right there. Yeah, I sound all smart today, huh? Okay, that side went on beautifully, as usual. As of right now, I see, I do see more pores on this side than this side, but let's go ahead and do another layer. Make sure you guys get your foundation in this little tear duct corner. Because a lot of people miss that spot. All right, let's take a look, shall we? This is a luminous foundation. So yeah, I look real luminous right now, but I'm gonna be setting this with powder. My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Light Medium. Okay, let me see up close. I'm still seeing that my pores are not quite as defined on the touch of touch on the touch of soul side <laughs> touch of soul side i've only had one cup of coffee this morning you guys i'm gonna go ahead and set like i normally do by pouncing on that maybelline powder yes my brush sheds i am aware but i love it for this exact reason I use this for my bronzer also from I brought a new new unit to the party. I'm still working on her so she's not quite ready for her big full reveal. Okay, I've powdered and so far now they look a little bit more the same. That's that's strange to me. Why would the powder affect that? Huh. That's going to be something I'm going to watch out for today. All right. Let me finish the rest of my makeup and we'll be back. All right, you guys. Makeup is all done and applied. The primers are looking pretty much the same. Although I am looking a bit more textured on this side. It's been on for about an hour or so, so I will check in with you guys throughout the day and we'll see what happens. Time for a face check. I'm cold. I just came in from outside, so don't mind me. Snuggled up in my robe, but let's look. So this was the elf side, remember? This was the touch of soul side. Mm. Look at my pores. I still think that my pores are less visible on the outside. What do you guys think? And this side of my face is way more oily than this side. And it's been six hours? Six hours since I put it on. So, yeah. Let's check in again before I wash my face tonight. Hi. She my pretty young thing and I do anything for her.